This video describes Harold Plummer's inconsistency problem and reveals its solution. This is a standard capital formation function, where K is capital stock, I investment, and delta depreciation rate. And the dot over a variable indicates its change over time. That is, capital change is the balance from investing new capital and depreciating old capital. Since investment is financed by saving, this equation can be equivalently expressed as the second, where S is saving rate and Y output. Divide both sides by K to obtain the second equation, where C is output capital ratio. The result is capital growth rate, and if C is constant, output also grows at the same rate. Similarly, if labor grows at some constant rate, say N, and yet there is also a fixed output labor ratio, output also grows at that rate, N. Since there are two rates, the output growth will be consistent only if the second equation holds. This is the Harold Thomas growth theory. However, since both the capital and labor growth rates are exogenous, this consistency condition is accidental or a knife edge. To eliminate the inconsistency possibility, so divide the both sides instead by population. The lower case letters stand for the respective per capita variables. Next, we expanded the change of per capita capital over time this way. The combination of the two solar equations results in the last. When k dot is equal to zero, per capita capital has a zero growth rate. And this also means that both total capital and total population grow at some same rate. And if it is produced by a constant return to scale function, total output also grows at that rate. This more flexible production function eliminates the inconsistency possibility.